The $768 billion defense bill is headed to President Joe Biden's desk for his signature after the Senate's approval. This year's bill includes provisions to help women and families in the military, including historic reforms to sexual assault investigations. This year's defense bill also includes what lawmakers call historic reforms to how the military investigates and prosecutes sexual assault and other major crimes. It calls for independent investigators to replace commanders in deciding whether to press charges. But some lawmakers, including a senator who's a veteran and sexual assault survivor herself, wanted even tougher reforms. This bill does not reform the military justice system in a way that will truly help survivors get justice. We still have a long ways to go. The newly passed defense bill also includes a provision that allows members of the armed forces to take up to 12 weeks of paid parental leave and addresses the issue of hunger. And the National Defense Authorization Act creates a basic needs allowance to help troops struggling to feed their families. Meanwhile, more than 97% of active U.S. military troops have been vaccinated against COVID-19. That means some 35,000 service members are unvaccinated. The military is in the process of reviewing thousands of requests for exemptions. So far, none have been granted. The Army says some 3,800 soldiers have refused the vaccine. Both the Army and Navy say they will start discharging people who refuse to get the shot without an approved or pending exemption. Meanwhile, the Air Force started discharging members this week who refused to follow the vaccine mandate. Up next, the impact of inflation on your pocketbook. How much more you're paying now? Watching.